Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to replace the driver's side door handle on this 94 Toyota Camry. Pretty much the same as the passenger side as well, and the same as most 92 to 96 Camrys. Tools you'll need are flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet. Okay, we're going to start out by removing this trim panel up here. Just kind of put your fingers in behind. If you want, you can use a little screwdriver. It just pops out. See, it has little pins that go into the grommets there. Now you need to remove this bezel around your door handle. And you do that by inserting a screwdriver at the top, prying up some, and pulling it out. And the same thing at the bottom. Prying up with my screwdriver and pulling out with my fingers. Okay. And that comes out. Close up of where you place your screwdriver in order to pry that bezel. Now you need to remove uh, four um, covers that show screws. Basically, you just kind of pry these right off. And I just could keep my hand over them because sometimes they'll go flying a little bit. Okay, now there's another one right under here. Just kind of pry it out and pull it out by hand. And then there's another one right down in here, same thing now remove five screws, one two okay, three four and then there's one in there, five Okay, then on the end of the door, there's two pins. You actually push the center of the pin in. Okay, and then you can actually pull it out. Okay, now here's a close up. Push in the pin, and then use a screwdriver or your fingernail to pry those two pins out of the end of the door. And now there's four pins along the bottom of the door. I just recommend getting your hand underneath, give it a good quick tug. Screws came out of the armrest there. Okay, and now you just lift your panel up and off. Okay, and then the last step is to disconnect this harness. And there's a little button right here underneath. Press and work the connection out. And if you have the up level stereo with the tweeter in the door pole, you'll need to disconnect those. There's three bolts that hold the handle on. Um, they are, they do have a Phillips head on them, so you could use a Phillips screwdriver if you wanted to. I personally prefer a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. pull out on um, the door handle and there's a little clips here so you want to flip that clip off and pull that down and then you can pull this out a little bit and you can pull this clip off I'll use a 
claw plate screwdriver to help out here. down and out okay, and there's the handle off okay so the top one there is our original handle which on this car it's fine it's not broken um, but just to show you here's the new handle from Warney Auto it's all the same it's going to mount in the same it comes with the clips and everything uh, it does have some graphics on it lock and the arrow I believe that's just from a, a later model car this is a 94 I think in 95 and 96 they printed that on there and obviously to reinstall um, the upper one here is attached okay, so the rod that's attached here is your lock rod so put that on the top right in So you can see, I use my screwdriver to lock it. Put my other rod in and pull the lap around. Everything's hooked back up. Start our bolts in. Come back in. Actually, a Phillips screwdriver works quite nicely to start them. Okay, and I'll tighten them up the rest of the way with my 10 millimeter socket ratchet and tighten them up nice and firm. They don't have to be extremely tight, but they need to be firm. Okay, we're just going to fast forward through putting the door panel back on. Um, if you took it off, you'll probably be able to get it back on without too much trouble. If you do want to see this in real time uh, for some help to get the door panel back on, just check out our other video for the Camry door panel uh, installation, and you can see that in regular motion. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.